G'day guys and welcome back to Ados the Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, I'll be giving you my predictions for the 2024-25 NFL season. So I'm super excited to jump in and uh, yeah, give you my predictions. So what I'll do is I will go um, team by team in both the, we'll do um, the AFC first and then we'll go through and do um, the NFC. So all I'm doing is giving you my um, division leaders for each um, division. So you've got AFC East, West, South and North. And then um, we'll do the uh, NFC divisions and then I'll do the, uh, the playoffs. So uh, let's get it started. So the AFC division, my AFC East team. I'm going with my team, the Miami Dolphins. I'm going to back them in, man. I, you know, I, think, I think they will have a good season this year. Uh, you know, we were pretty good last year, but there was definitely patches where we struggled. I do think it'll be a very closely contested um, division, though. I think the Jets will um, will give both the Dolphins and the Bills a run for their money. But realistically, I think um, I think the Dolphins get it done just. I actually think they probably will finish with the same win-loss record as the Bills, but I think they will get there ju just. They'll just get that first division uh, spot there for the AFC East. Uh, for the AFC West, I think this one's pretty obvious. I've got to go Kansas City. I think they'll get the job done here and uh, top their division. All right, for AFC South, I am going the uh, the Texans to get that one. Uh, I think that one will be pretty close to. Um, I think there'll be a few teams that'll be hunting for that top spot in their division. But uh, I think the Texans will be too good for that one. All right. And then finally, uh, I am going the Baltimore Ravens to uh, to get the top of the North Division there in the AFC. I think they're going to be a tough team to beat this season. Uh, I think they will uh, lock in that um, first spot in their division. All right. Let's go NFC now. So we go over to... NFC East, and that is going to be the Philadelphia 70, uh, Philadelphia Eagles, as you can tell. I love my NBA as well. Uh, so the Eagles, I think, will uh, will wrangle in some wins there and top that one. I think the Cowboys will give them a bit of a run for their money as well, but I think inevitably it'll be the Eagles topping that division. All right, for the NFC West, I'm going to lock in the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, they just missed out on a Super Bowl win last year. And I feel like they will want to go one better this year. I think they will top their division uh, in the NFC West. All right, the NFC South. I'm going the Atlanta Falcons. Um, I don't think they will be convincing at all. I think there will be a bit of a log jam with their division. I actually think they will top their division with a... Um, I, don't, I don't think they'll be over 500, put it that way. I think it'll be like an 8-9 sort of uh, record there. And I think um, there'll be a couple of other teams around that same sort of margin. I think it'll be quite close in the NFC South division. All right, and to wrap it up, NFC North, I think this one's pretty straightforward. I'm locking in the uh, Detroit Lions. I think there'll be a few teams that sort of get close to them, um, like the Packers, but outside of that, I don't really see too many teams contesting in the NFC North division. All right, let's go through to the playoff picture. So uh, my wildcard teams... I've gone with the Buffalo Bills, the Cincinnati Bengals, the Cleveland Browns, the Dallas Cowboys, the Green Bay Packers, and the Chicago Bears. So that is my uh, playoff bracket there. So obviously we've got the Chiefs uh, first, the Ravens second, the Texans third, and the Dolphins fourth over there. And on the opposite side, we've got the Eagles first, the Lions second, the 49ers third, and the Falcons fourth. It is wild to me how that works. But uh, you know, as an Aussie, like our systems are very different over here for like your National Rugby League, your uh, Australian Football League as well. So it is, it is very different for me seeing it like this, but it is what it is. All right. So 
My prediction for the playoffs. So the first games, uh, Bills against the Dolphins. I think this will be a really, really good game. I think it'll be very close, but I've got to back my team in. I'm backing the Dolphins to get the job done there. Uh, Texans and Bengals. I think this one will be very close as well, but I'm going to go... I think we're going to go the Bengals in that one. I think Bengals will win that one. A bit of a slight upset there, if you will. And then I think Baltimore, um, they get a good win over the uh, the Cleveland Browns there. All right, over to the other side. We've got the Cowboys taking on the Falcons. Pretty straightforward one. This one, Cowboys move on. Uh, 49ers against the Packers. I think uh, the Packers will give the 49ers a bit of a run for their money here. But I've got the 49ers winning that one. And then the Bears against the Lions. Pretty straightforward here. I think the Lions move on quite comfortably. All right. So there are the second round. The Chiefs take on the Dolphins. The Bengals take on the Ravens. Eagles against the Cowboys. And the 49ers against the Lions. So as much as I would love the Dolphins to progress here, I just can't see them beating the Chiefs, so I've got the Chiefs moving on in that one. Uh, the Bengals against the Ravens. I think the Ravens win this one, and I think they win it quite well as well. I think the Ravens will have a good run in the playoffs. Uh, Eagles and Cowboys, classic game here. I actually have the Cowboys moving on in this one. I think the Eagles will be quite dominant for the most part in this game, but I do think the Cowboys run away with it there. So I am backing in the Cowboys to win that one. And then finally, we've got the 49ers against the Lions. I think the Lions win this one. I really do. You know, I said at the start that I think the 49ers will be salty. They didn't win the play, uh, the um, Super Bowl last year, and they're going to want to get their revenge. I don't see it happening. I see the Lions winning that one. All right, so we move on to the third round of the playoffs with the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Baltimore Ravens and the Cowboys against the Lions. So, um, might be a few upsets here. You guys let me know, but I'm taking the Ravens to beat the Chiefs. I reckon it's going to be a good year here for the Ravens. I think they will be hungry this year, so I am backing the Ravens in to get the job done there over the Chiefs. And then I'm taking the Lions to beat the Cowboys. I think the Lions are in for a big year this year as well, so I've got a Lions-Ravens um Super Bowl, which would be really interesting in my opinion. I think it'll be a cracking game. Uh, but for me, the winner of the Super Bowl in 2025 will be the Detroit Lions. I think the Lions get the job done here. I think they... I'm just Look, I'll be honest with you. I know more about NBA and Australian sport than I do about the NFL, so you guys could laugh at me if you wanted. But I've just got a feeling about the Lions this year. I really do. I think uh, yeah, they were pretty good last year outside of a few uh, little mishaps here and there. But I think the Lions, I think it's their year. So I'm backing in Detroit to get the job done. I'm going to say 32-25. Uh, 32-25 Lions beat the Ravens. Guys, let me know. What predictions do you have for the NFL season this year and next? Um, and uh, yeah, hit that like button, hit that sub button. And as always, my friends, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.